teams, one desire to win it all. FlyQuest or EG, who shall it be? Are we watching a movie? <laughs> this is a movie trailer for the RLCS. game that we're about to have week three. Week three coming to a theater near you. <laughs> Pretty good stuff. Obviously, the guys hit it nail on the head. AJ and Prime Thunder need to hit those shots. Mm. And for evil geniuses, Chicago just gets to keep doing what he's been doing, setting up double taps and, and applying passes yeah. everywhere he needs to. It's well, been exciting. I think they talked about it, too, is that one of the things you saw, you looked from EG was to was to have you know classic make those garbage plays happen and then right. get corrupted. Just a there really weird it. way, of yeah, right. Like to call it that. But the thing is, like, if that stops happening, where does corrupted fit into the mix now anymore? And I think that's something I've heard a few people say is they want to see corrupted step up a bit more now with how they have to play. I mean, they might be able to force it out here if if FQ can't figure out their play style. But I mean, I think if they go fast. They could be able to disrupt their own place. Like FlyQuest I like still has that the potential. We've seen them. But I, lo down. I love the fact that he doesn't need to be involved. Like, mm -hmm. when was the last time we watched Fair. EG and we're like, yeah, Corrupted G doesn't have to play Janitor? True. Like, that's unreal. Like, we've never had that be a thing where he's just simply able to sit back and watch, which is really exciting because when they do start to get challenged, I think you'll start him to work into that rotation a little bit more. But as of right now, like his job is either to support his team by setting up a pass mm -hmm. or just making sure it doesn't go past midfield. True. I love it. I absolutely love it. Let's see if they can uh, tie it all together here, though. We will find out. <laughs> all right, In Prime. Game number one, <laughs> quick. Or let's say, that's what I say. If FlyQuest just goes fast, it might work. And they're already going fast. Well, the issue was they went a little too fast last time and left their goal wide open. Well, just don't do that this time. And go it's fast. That, it's that simple, huh? Score goals. Don't let them score goals. That's how you win Rocket League, guys. Yeah. That's why I'm so good at the game. Could have fooled me. Corrupted with a double tap chance. There it is. Beautiful, beautiful place from, from him to the far side. And Mr. Gabe himself will throw the first one in. Hey, uh, that's one way to be a janitor. <laughs> Clean up your own pass and shot. Except it wasn't even a, it wasn't even a, a trash situation. That was just a beautiful backboard touch. He heard us talking. He's like, only six shots, and I'll I'll show you two okay, right guys. away. I'll step up. I like to see it, Gabe. Just 30 seconds in. EG already up by a goal. See if they can keep that up. Prime Thunder looking to change that around. He'll set up a play here off the corner. If he can get another touch, he can't. Look at that clear from Classic. Just destroys that second attacker. Attacker and Wonder is now the last one. Good read from Wonder. But there's Chicago already waiting for it. Oh, flip reset. He's not going to be able to use it, though. Grab the G to clean it up. There it is. That was a cleanup goal. Cleanup goal, but a bigger mistake from Wonder. Watch him on the back end here. So AJ. Tries to get that challenge, and he cheats up, getting ready to fight immediately, but nowhere near it. If you're going to cheat up like that, you have to get to the ball first. Fortunately for him, he expected AJ to make that kind of play. And then the janitor, Corrupted G, getting his second one. Wow, he's taking out the trash, apparently. Yeah, he's just taking out everything. Corrupted G is stepping up right now. Almost a great angle for Chicago. We know that he can pop off. Chicago, another player that can never be talked about enough, I think. Yep, rookie this season coming in. Hands down. Had a phenomenal season down in the rival series. Got picked up by EG. And kind of a bid war is what it felt like. <laughs> yeah. Who gets them and Chicago? Rogue. Between them and Rogue, and he has been playing stunning Rocket League for the first couple weeks. Classics being a nuisance. Nice pass across from Corrupted, but Classics couldn't get up to that in time. We find FlyQuest struggling to get on their own end there. Just a mismatched defense, and EG is going to punish. Yeah, unfortunate for Wonder. He knows Chicago's right behind him. So he tries to play that into his team, but unfortunately for him, it's a little bit too perfect for Corrupted G, who says, I'm not going to wait on this one. Just comes in, intercepts it, and slams it down. Mr. Pirate himself is popping off. <laughs> Oh, land, man. By the way, greatest chant at land. Yeah. If you guys weren't there, I landed. Anytime that boy walked onto the stage, a certain song got sang by Team 104. All the more reason to join us in Vegas, you guys. It's going to be a fantastic event. Mm -hmm. Some love for Team 104 in chat. How about that? Classics trying to get another one out for CG, but he can't. 
Just get an interruption at midfield here, stopping. FlyQuest from getting out. Wander taking off the field. Prime trying to get a play started, but he just gets a 50 into the hands of Corrupted G. Slow play here. EG doesn't really need to do much. Classic's just kind of bowling his way in. Corrupted just waiting to see if FlyQuest can get any kind of clear. And FlyQuest is being suffocated right now. In their end, and they need to do something to get out. There's a good chance. Ah, oh, missed though from AJ. A flick up from Wonder could have been a great pass. Chance to put a shot on net. Prime's going to have to try again from his own end. Straight down. AJ with the correct read. Can stop an attack. Interesting play all around from EG. Just the way that they're positioning. But a lot of the charge actually being led by Corrupted G. Maybe he doesn't want to be the one in back to clean things up. And so far, it's been working great. Chicago's been relatively quiet. But the fact that he knows he has some skill in that back pocket if he needs to break it out. What a lot of teams did originally back in Season 3, tail end of Season... Nah, probably tail end of Season 3 into Season 4, was they put their most mechanically strong player on defense. Because then if, if things got worse... They could save him. They could take care by time, whatever they had to do. That is transition. Now that we are an extremely offensive heavy game, they let that offensive player, that mechanically gifted player, lead the charge. There's a chance. Oh, if he just got a nose on it sooner, Prime Thunder could have had a goal there for FlyQuest. But they're still sitting at nil. Well, EG sitting at a pretty three. So far, a little bit different, though. FlyQuest getting some offense. The only offense we really saw was Prime Thunder's initial one off the kickoff where he air dribbled to far post. But they've sustained it relatively well here in the last 30 seconds. Well, we see decent mechanics. Good shot there by AJ, but there was a defender. Still good mechanics from FlyQuest. It's just the creativity is a bit lacking, and a lot of their touches are being read by EG and stopped out before they can get any kind of real scoring chances. Classic last defender, though. This could be a chance for FlyQuest. Prime can get it out. He can't. Boost still won't do much if you don't have the ball. EG turns that one back down into some offense of their own. And now five seconds left and three goals up. EG is going to take game number one against FlyQuest. In once this best it, of five. Once it hits the ground. May, okay, there it is. EG dominating performance from them. He talks about how he has only yeah. had six shots throughout his entire season. And then out of nowhere, Corrupted G, four shots, a hat trick for his team dominating performance from Evil Geniuses. And it's exciting that they have that in them. We were waiting for them to convince us. I think Evil Geniuses to me is definitely a solid choice for kind of that 3-4 spot. We just haven't been able to see them kind of flex their muscles against some of these teams that are towards the bottom of the leaderboards. So for him and the rest of the players for Evil Geniuses, this could be their match where they really show the difference between where we belong and what you've seen of us so far. Yeah, and, it, and just to reiterate on what we talked about before, it's like, you know, we have the game plan. Classic, make a mess, right. corrupt and clean it up. But it wasn't really the case in this one. I mean, oh. like, we had uh, both the uh, members, uh, teammates, sorry, from Corrupted G getting assists on these. Everyone was getting involved. But Corrupted also had some beautiful plays himself, some great mechanical uh, plays. You know, that double, touch, uh, double touch off the backboard there. Uh, Corrupted is just looking solid on this, and FlyQuest is looking a bit miserable on their defense right now. They can't figure out how to break out of their own end with possession. No, a, lo a lot of it has just been from simple textbook plays. Spacing is pretty much everything. The way that they're doing their positioning, anytime the ball is starting to get cleared out, there's almost al so always someone back on defense ready to put it right back in. And the times that they do, it's also how fast they transition. There was one that comes to mind where it was in the corner and it was played straight up. And there was a player in the midfield for FlyQuest ready for it, but Classics cut in and then launched it down to the opposite end in the corner. Classics will turn on everything. <laughs> Pretty much. You will literally just ah, I'm going for it. it yeah, as long as it's communicated, that's all that matters. Absolutely. That's the issue with playing with Gibbs, is he ball chases, like you said, but he doesn't communicate it. So you're just like, why are you challenging that? What are you doing? Hey, man, it works, I guess. You know, we lose. <laughs> AJ Chance with a flick, beautiful flick, but corrupted. Saw that coming. Crossfield pass. FlyQuest with another chance. Wonder. 
It's going to sink this one home. There it is. They find themselves their first goal in the series against EG, and this time they're in the lead. Credit to FlyQuest just shutting that clear down. Classics, rather than controlling it, try to flick it up. He wanted to play it into the corner immediately, and unfortunately for him, someone from FlyQuest already there. They throw it right back in front of a dangerous spot, and they get a goal. Good response early here, having to play very minimal defense so far. Now EG, though, on the turnaround, they're going to try to get a goal. There's that turn from Classic so fast. Yeah, more of a slow challenge, I'd say, from FlyQuest. That one was pretty telegraphed. Just don't think anybody was in the right spot. Classic's the bully he is. Plows through with a pass of his own. Turning around to challenge again. <laughs> Every, he says, I mean, why not? I mean, you saw all of FlyQuest kind of missed the ball there. You see it there again, too. He's like, hey, uh, I'm supposed to technically rotate out yeah. here, but I'm going to air dribble it the whole way. Hello, Classics. Classics, you're supposed to be on defense, but he's like, no, I need to <laughs> score real quick. Great play, a last little touch off the corner of the Dominus. Gets so much power there, and no way FlyQuest is defending that. Now we're all tied up, just a minute past the game. Number two, EG taking the first one. Classics making a case that they should take the second one, too. We're taking turns. It's FlyQuest's turn to get a goal, and they might be able to do it right here. There it is. To the far corner, a bit messy situation, but AJ is going to find the net. Yeah, just two going backwards. You saw Corrupted G and Chicago both trying to retreat to the net. The initial challenge from Classics was a good one. He recognized that both my teammates are moving back. I need to put some pressure on, but unfortunately, that pinch goes straight up and falls into the lap of the offensive FlyQuest. One and a half is fast now. You're just recognizing the picture frame. I just saw the picture, so I, <laughs> I forgot that he put another picture frame. And in celebration of it, Chicago is going to get a beautiful pass to Classics. And Classics is now feeling good with that dominance. I mean, you got to give credit to Chicago all in that play. Not only does he get past one defender, but as soon as he drops it off, he goes for another bump and just smashes AJ into the back of the net. Makes it so easy for his teammate. And here we are, two minutes in, all tied up again. But it's been back and forth. Every time FlyQuest gets ahead, EG says, nah, nah. We're here, and there's another lead. AJ grabbing a second one. We'll see if they can keep the lead this time, though, or if EG is going to answer back quick. Beautiful. Play between the two of them. Pinch didn't even see Prime under there, actually, the first time. Oh, coming off the ceiling, I thought he was going to just drop that off for his teammate and make an easy play happen. But decides to follow it up, that pinch applying a lot more power. And nobody back to save it. But as you said, back and forth, now it's EG's turn. Can FlyQuest maintain some sort of offense? Can they make a spread happen? As we've seen, one goal just not enough. Passing play there. Wonder with a chance off the crossbar. Follow up from Prime Thunder. No finish. Counterattack chance here. Air drill. We see Chicago going for the bomb in Classics. Going to grab another. There's that answer we've seen three times in a row now from EG. So smart on this play. Not only is he patient, but the way he shadows that ball so when the ball does get challenged, it still goes in his favor. And he's doing all this while Wonder is behind him just trying to get a demo. But he jumps at the perfect time. Classics with the help again of Chicago. Tie it right Ooh. back up. Prime almost with a great 50. Classics though, gonna find no one home. He is just running away with this now. I think three of the goals for his team and in a row as well. Now EG finds himself in the lead for the first time in this game. Gibbs mentioned it. So did James. You don't have to go for everything. A big double commit coming out from FlyQuest on offense. Leaves one alone and back. And now Evil Genius is starting to apply this pressure, gaining that confidence. And you can see it with how fast they're starting to play. These challenges coming out with no hesitation. Just need to be careful. Don't want to throw away possession too quickly by throw, launching it downfield. Two minutes left now, EG in the lead. Back pass there to AJ. Beautiful play from Prime Thunder. They do not convert into a goal, though. 
EG trying to move up the field, forcing Classics to the air. So he works his way out. Great play to get that ball to the other end. And he'll try to just get a play set up for his teammates. Everybody up, though. That was a chance there for FlyQuest. Had they been ready for it to push that ball to the other end. Classics will do it for him with a pinch, but Chicago can clean that up. Second touch, not going to come out from Wonder, nor the 50. Both teams not able to get the ball in front of the net lately. But really, it's only FlyQuest that has to do that. Because they are trailing by a goal in the final minute of gameplay here. If they can't get this, EG will set themselves at match point. FlyQuest desperately looking for a win in this league play. It's going to be a cleanup there from AJ. He tries to just take a shot. It's wide. Prime Thunder to AJ. He's got Wonder behind him, too, if they can get a play out. There's a chance off the backboard. AJ's there. He takes his time, and he finds the net. Another one for his team, and we're tied up with 30 seconds left. Credit to FlyQuest for spreading this team thin. Everybody's so low on boost, and you see it from Corrupted G. You know he's got nothing left on the tank. He's just trying to get there as quickly as possible. Leaves all the advantage over to FlyQuest. They take the time and tie it up at a crucial moment. 30 seconds left. Trying to keep EG away Ooh. from Ooh. getting the match point. And that is the way to do it. What a shot. That is the speed I am talking about. Like, look at how fast this is. Wonder, a banger. Top cheese, Bardowski. There she is. Welcome back, Leaf. Oh, yeah. Full Canadian on that one. Uh, for everybody in chat who has no idea what you just said, it was a good shot. It went off the top post. Or the crossbar. There's the no top indeed. post. All your cheese and stuff. Got me thinking about my home. I'm land. hungry now. <laughs> I'm sure both these guys are hungry for a win. FlyQuest is going to try to hold off for this one. Ten seconds left. They just have to stop. EG's answered every single goal so far in this game number two. We'll see if they can do it with three seconds left, if they can keep the ball up here. But of course, AJ will drop that one to the floor. And FlyQuest grabbing a game against EG. And now Evil Geniuses and FlyQuest are one and one in this best of five. Just broke the seal. 13 shots coming out from FlyQuest. We Woo. talked about how their offense has been, how they like to go up early and often. And it did give them a couple problems where they were leaving the goal wide open for those reasons where for EG, they only needed to beat one defender. But the difficulty that they've always had has pretty much been exploited, I think, by just about everybody is that they like to play really, really fast. But when they're on point, it's great. The weird question for me, though, is where was Prime Thunder? He was so quiet that game. They still won. Who cares? I mean, yeah, like they still won. But like you're telling me that they can apply that much pressure, that mm -hmm. many goals with Prime Thunder barely being involved, who used to be the best goal scorer in all of Rival Series. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, at the same time, again, remember, maybe a lot of his touches are aerials in that and it's not counted towards the score. Um, but he did get in there and assist that one pinch there um, that uh, Wonder was able to get to, or I think it was AJ actually got the credit for, um, but just squishing the ball together, a nice little sandwich, smushing it towards the net. Uh, and so he's getting involved a little bit. You're right. But if, if he doesn't need to get too involved, why change it? They won. It was close. It right. was definitely close. But, uh, you know, if, if it's working, why change it? I guess. Well, I don't consider that working too well. Four goals is a lot to give up. The fact that you're expected to score five to take that victory, not something you want to rely on. I want to see their defense cleaned up a little bit. And as for EG, bring that pressure back. Game number three now. Evil Geniuses taking the first. FlyQuest with the second. No air dribble from Prime Thunder right away. Shot. Boom. Chicago taking that one off 40, or sorry, 20 seconds into game number three. Wonder with maybe not the best touch there. He had a teammate below him. And the punishment comes through. Yeah, you're exactly right. But it all starts with classics. That initial pop up forces someone on defense to go up and make a save. That's just unfortunate for Wonder. He has to play that other than in front of his net. Makes it too easy for Evil Geniuses, and they show you exactly why. As Boost and I is coming out everywhere from EG. Let's see what they do with it. Double tap, ceiling shot there. Won't make it to Classics. AJ will clear that out to Wonder, who's already upfield. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. And the 50 will be won by EG, buying them time to recuperate, get on defense. 
and stop any attack from FlyQuest. Nice pass up to Wonder. Can he drop it? Corrupted's going to get in the way of that play. AJ, prime shot on net. Should be saved. Both Classics and Gabe were back. See a lot of pressure from FlyQuest now. A lot of shots coming out. And I wonder if they can just start to boost starve. They might be able to find the back of the net on one of these. All three committing to that one, but there's no third on the far side to punish. Although they do have possession. Classics couldn't get a hold of that ball. And FlyQuest with so much pressure, but no goal to show for it. Again, the unforgiving game that is Rocket League. All this pressure, no goal, it doesn't mean a thing. No. That's where it can get frustrating if the defense shows up like it did for EG. We had an explosion of defense with all three players, but those are the ones that you really need to punish for. Hey, here's the thing, though. The one thing you gotta keep an eye on is don't overcommit, and they didn't. Now, FlyQuest didn't give up a goal, but they are still down by a goal. With three minutes left, Lots of time to answer, but EG just has to hold off. They're trying to do just that now as FlyQuest puts on an attack. AJ, hard clear. Prime to follow up the touch from Classic. Not the touch he wanted. Can he get the center? AJ does center it, but there's no buddy there to help him out. Double commit now. Prime and Wonder up. That's going to be a chance for Corrupted G to help his teammates out. Get a ball in front of the net. Classics. Chicago. Prime Thunder will clear that one. AJ up to Wonder. He's upfield. He's going to put on target instead of using Prime Thunder. Prime Thunder will just keep the pressure on. Nice pass out to Prime Thunder, but he just misses it and hits the far post there. That was a chance for FlyQuest, but I like to see that. Could have been a crucial one to change the momentum of this game. They've had so much offense, shot after shot, just can't find the back of the net. Uh -huh. James harped on him at the desk as well during the pregame. If AJ and Prime Thunder hit their shots, they're dangerous as Wonder trying to play it across oh, an opportunity. A oh no, AJ took that away from Prime Thunder as they had a beautiful play to get that in front of the net. And EG will just hold off. Again, the onslaught from this FlyQuest team. They have it in them, they just can't seem to put it away as the setup made way too Woo. easy for EG. No one in net, and Chicago's gonna bring the score margin to uh -huh. two. There it is, the second that FlyQuest gets ready on offense, they give up their defense, and there's two people with nobody home. And Chicago can throw another one away, putting FlyQuest two goals into, the, or sorry, Evil Geniuses, two goals into the lead. And after all that offense, FlyQuest yet to answer. We'll see if they can use this kickoff to start some momentum in their favor. A pass from AJ going too far from Prime Thunder. Chicago taking advantage. He's got his jump still, uses it to try to get it under the last defender. It doesn't work. Prime Thunder upfield, a banger, and there's one goal answered. Prime Thunder, a beautiful shot. A risky play, but it pays off for Prime to stay upfield and wait for that pass, cherry picking it. Doesn't matter if the accuracy is not perfect, if it's a wide open net. They catch him with the transition. FlyQuest bring it back within one. With a minute left, that's much better than being down by two goals, but you are still down by a goal, and you have to force things to happen now as FlyQuest. Touch to Wonder. That's a chance to the far side, and Chicago can't get there. Look at how fast they convert this one into a goal as well. With a minute left, they're all tied up. I was going to say earlier about how generic their goals have been, just bringing them into the corner. And Let's I'm change. glad I bit my tongue because as soon yep. as they change it up, they show they can go for these passes, whether it be infield or downfield, and they tie back up. If only they did that the whole time. Wow, we might see an awake fly quest now. EG has to be prepared for these passes because these are fast passes. Aggressive play as well from, e or from fly quest. A lot of bumps starting to come out. Even there, Prime Thunder was looking for another demo, but Classics did get out of his reach. Wonder can't get a second touch. Prime towards the net. No one's there. And he's going to get another one. 30 seconds left. And FlyQuest finds the lead. Just shutting these angles off. As soon as he pushes it into the corner and forces a defender up, he's still on the wall and puts it right back in. But this time, it's on net. 
There's only so much defense you can have. And with 31 seconds left, FlyQuest trying to show that they're here to play and not to be taken lightly. All they had to do was connect, find each other, and they've done exactly that on the field. With 18 seconds left and EG on attack, there's still a chance for them to finish it up. There it is. Classics is going to clean up that play, and they bring themselves back to a tie game. Something that's been true so far in this series that EG will respond one goal after another. They find a way in only 15 seconds to tie it back up. And we, man, do we have a battle on our hands between these two squads. Almost a kickoff goal there for FlyQuest. 10 seconds left, and we might find ourselves in an overtime. We are first overtime of the day. Let's see if he can get this in. Now Prime's going to clear it. He's got the boost to get up to it as well. Great 50 from Classics to kill momentum, but AJ's there to try to get in front of the net one more time. That should touch the ground. It does, and we have overtime. First overtime and a chance to be a leg up in this series as well on match point. Could be an extremely crucial moment of this series. Cannot wait to see how it plays out as Chicago trying to set up his team. The jump reset going underneath, but AJ reads it well. That's tough. I think he wanted the pass there as well. And got none of it, Chicago. Trying to find that close corner. Classics with a shot towards the net, stopped by AJ. Wander struggling to get his wheels on the ground. Now EG with a chance to put some more pressure on and maybe get a scoring chance here. Unless FlyQuest can get control and move this out. They finally do. But will it be enough? EG is there at mid. Chicago had a boost. That'll be corrupted to move in in his place. Pop from Wonder. AJ trying to find Prime. Classics, a shot towards the net. Wonder somehow stopping all momentum, getting his car in front of that one. Flyquist had a chance to break out. Crypto G had to go back when Chicago was also going for boost and Classics wasn't there to challenge. And they didn't do anything with it. Now they're stuck again on defense. One after another. AJ, they hold on. Double save there. Keep them alive. A minute passing in the overtime. Chicago trying to get EG back on offense. Classics not going to win that 50. Prime Thunder, some reason, up on the other end of the field. Had that dropped earlier. It could have actually been advantageous for them. Infield pass to Prime. Then he gets bumped. Heads up play from Chicago to get that play stopped. Corrupted with Classics to move up the field. You also have Chicago mid. Play goes nowhere. Now Flat Quest the other way. FlyQuest with the ball. So many passes here. Corrupted. Just gets the nose of his car on that one. But FlyQuest is looking out for each other on every single touch right now. And that could be deadly for EG if one time FlyQuest can connect there. But that's going to be a shot prime. Just coming from the corner to keep themselves alive. Trying to be the janitor, the hero for this team. But the shot too weak. Keeps FlyQuest alive. 2.15 into this overtime. Winner trying to put themselves on match point. Mostly it's been EG up on offense, but they haven't been able to Ooh! find the back of the net. Chicago does it. The Chiefs dabbing like crazy. And a, a goal. You hear that clap from the desk. <laughs> Triple dab. Amazing angle, Chicago. How do you even hit these just off that left post? An incredible finish. Finishing at 2-2-2 two, two, two into overtime. A great showcase, though, from FlyQuest. And now evil geniuses sit at match point. But I am not sleeping on FlyQuest if I was EG at this point. It looks like EG is just taking turns on who gets a hat trick. Chicago now with his own after Crypto G started off in game number one. But this does put them at match point. Obviously, the stats a little bit skewed. 14 shots coming out from Evil Geniuses. 12 from FlyQuest. Assuming I did my math correctly real quick there. I'm not even going to double check it. Uh, probably for the better. I believe everything like, you say to me, a lot of, A lot of offense, man. You would never lie to me. No. <laughs> no. Uh, but right now, FlyQuest, can we talk about that passing game that just, where did that come from? That was not present in game number one. Well, that's what I was talking about. I'm like, where was Prime Thunder? And you're like, oh, they don't need him, blah, blah, blah. And then now that happens. Now he has two goals. Him. And the infield pass plays look amazing. And that's what we expect. That's why I wanted Prime Thunder to be involved. And it just happened to work out in my arguments. Prime Thanks, Prime. Thunder. Prime Thunder. Yeah. Fun <laughs> gameplay. Rocket League. <laughs> now they're looking good, though, in all reality. Yeah. Um, FlyQuest, I actually thought that could have gone. And that's, um, you know, 
uh, really on the edge, like to do those passing plays in an overtime, a lot of people end up getting nervous and they just start yeah. throwing the ball, getting a bit of ping pong going on, you know, back and forth. But FlyQuest was still looking for each other, still looking for those passing plays, all of them getting involved, especially AJ. Um, and if they can start the game like this, they might find themselves off to an early lead that EG can't catch up to. To me, I want them to take it to that next level, right? So if they keep getting those infield pass plays going, if that third man isn't involved, I want to see him denying boost, finding a way to go for a bumper demo, because it's only going to open it up even more. It's risky, but that's kind of how FlyQuest plays. They just send everything, and it usually works out. Classics, a pass to AJ. Turns now, on him again. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pass to you, my opponents, and then turn on it. Oh, underneath, corrupted. Almost finds a chance for Chicago to help force that one through, but FlyQuest will stay alive. Again, the passing plays early on. I like to see it from FlyQuest. AJ and Wonder trying to make magic happen. It fizzles out. They go back to their own end. EG, though, without possession, going to have to try to get it back. Wonder gives that one to Classics rather than a pass to mid. Good job playing it into open field as well. If you're going to clear the ball, even if you're giving away possession, make sure it's into an empty spot of the field. Got to force one of those players to go get it. AJ approaching that one with no boost, and he puts his team in a rough spot, but a missed chance there from Corrupted to put that in center. Classics will try a shot of his own. A little bit too high, too committed for EG. A lot of them low on boost right now. This could be a chance for AJ. AJ, ceiling shot goes wide. No one there to help him out either. EG moving this one down field. Off the top ceiling, you might have a chance there for AJ just off the crossbar. No finish for FlyQuest. Prime just going straight for the ball rather than the 50. They'll lose possession. EG tries to move it out. A fight in the corner. Finally won by EG. Interception though. Sends that one back down to the blue end. There's Classics just dunking on everybody. There's a shot, the bump, the dunks. Classics will do whatever it takes to get that ball to Chicago. Good old bump and dunk. It's my bump favorite. It's my favorite play. Gets the bump, gets the dunk. That's how they do it. Just good setup by Classics. He's been turning really well. His challenges have been on point. For me, so far, definitely the player to watch. We talked about how he likes to challenge. He likes to double back and cut rotation but it keeps applying a little bit extra pressure, which has been great because a lot of the reasons why G2 was able to shut these guys down is that same reason. They cut off the rotation immediately, made it very difficult for FlyQuest to break out. The Bruiser for the team, making things happen. Two and a half minutes now passed by EG, setting up one goal. They are at match point. I must remind you as well, FlyQuest looking to bring this to a game five. EG just needing one more win. They can do it in this game if they can hold off to this lead. Wonder. Trying to get a play started for FlyQuest. A chance here. A nice little chip, but he gets bumped a little bit. AJ can't finish that one off. Wonder and Prime often move, move from mid. They do just that with a passing play. AJ's there. Wonder sees him, but Chicago gets the 50 in. You know for sure that I think it's Wonder there is like, I shouldn't have gone for that pass. It was so telegraphed. <laughs> Chicago was lurking. He knew he was there. Just made it too easy for him. Best option in that one is just to try to chip it up and go for a solo play, but I get it. It's difficult. You've been conditioning this team over and over again. We're going to go for a midfield pass play. Finally, they read it. They shut it out, and they get a goal for it. Well, this is why you also go for the mix-up, the latter part of conditioning. And just start going for a lot of solo plays. No yeah. more passing plays. You can yeah. <laughs> can work them both in. That's what makes a really dangerous team. But for FlyQuest, minute and a half to bring it back. They've been able to do it in a couple other games, a back and forth match once they started getting those pass plays oh, going. Oh, chance here, but too high. The ball off the crossbar. Might have to add wonder that list, James was telling. Need to land those shots. The accuracy been a big problem for their offense. Two people up now, double commit here. That's a chance for Classics to send that one far, wonder knowing. There was trouble in the air. Gets into the middle of that play. Nice job, JJ. 
Prime, he's got Wonder with him. But a miss there. AJ's gonna have to recuperate the ball. In front of the net, Wonder with a chance. Can he drop it down off the post? AJ gonna move in, he's out of the play. Wonder will finally clean up these scraps. They grab a goal, but they're still down by one. Sticks on defense, you see Chicago up and then a big double commit from Classics and Corrupted G. Talk about how that kind of quick to challenge play style, the ability to double back can plague them sometimes. Usually it's not an issue because Classics is the one to read the charge. But uh, this time on defense, he cuts rotation from Corrupted G rather than going to that back post. And it puts FlyQuest at a pretty good spot to make their way back into this game. Uh-huh. Classics upfield. Trying to get a redirect there. It'll be stopped up by the defense FlyQuest. 30 seconds left. And EG on attack. They just have to kind of poke and prod here. They don't need to go full force on offense. Just make sure FlyQuest doesn't go full force on offense. And they're doing a great job thus far. Prime needs to work with AJ to get this ball out. Otherwise, Classics will keep it in. Five seconds left, and EG looking at victory right in the face. And if that touches the ground, somehow FlyQuest keeps it up. But that should be, unless Prime. No, it'll be Wonder instead. It's in the air, but AJ was too close to get up for that one. Classics to the side, and a miss there. That's going to go onto the ground. And EG going to finish that one off.